Okay, so this is a little 3D lily pad that you can, you guys can make at home. Um, all you will need is a blue construction paper. If you don't have a blue piece of construction paper, you can paint it blue, like I did here. And you will um, you can download these little cards here. Um, so I will show you what we need to do. So this pretend this is blue. Um, and you will need some tissue papers or if you want you can just color your lily pad um, green but I will just show you how we were supposed to do it so basically you take your liquid glue put your liquid glue on and rub it around the lily pad All right and then you will take some tissue paper and lay it down it's okay if um, they go over the edge because we're just gonna we're gonna cut this out All right, great. Make sure you press it all down really good. And you'll cut this out. And then you take these two cards. These are our, our um, petals. And I made mine pink. So you can take, you can color them whatever color you want. Um, I'm gonna go with orange. And it's okay if you color outside of the lines because we're just going to cut these out. And if you want, you can make two different colors. For your petals, maybe I'll do the big petals yellow. So you have three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And then I need to grab my scissors. So then you'll cut your lily pad out.
and you will glue your lily pad um, down on your blue paper. So remember, pretend that's blue. I didn't have blue construction paper, so we are just pretending today. You don't need a lot of glue for this one. Just press that down. Then you will cut out your petals. Sometimes it's easier to just cut them out. Do your best to follow the line. I'm trying to make this quick so I don't end up with a video that's too, too long. So just take your time here, follow the lines. And last but not least, the large ones.
it's all trash. Okay. So now we are going to construct our um, flower. So you need to gather all your large ones in one pile. All of your small ones and mediums in another pile. So when you cut them out, it might be easier just to keep them separated. You should have six of each size. Okay, and so they're shaped kind of like a little fish, and this is our little tail. So you're going to bend that tail on all of your um, petals. Just bend it down, and you're going to take your glue, and you're going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom side, the side that you did not color, and you're going to place that in the middle of your lily pad. From here, you're going to kind of move them into a circle, so it starts our um, flower. So once you're done with the large, you're going to do your middle size, your medium size. So the same thing, bend your little tails. So you're bending them inwards so that they'll pop out. And do the same thing. Get some glue. You might have to prop them up a little and make sure to press them down really well so that they stick. And then you're going to do the same thing with the small, bend them in. And then finish it, your lily up the same way, sticking these in the middle. And for this center, you can either take some um, construction paper and cut little um, cut little cut little strips into it and roll it up, or you can take some extra tissue paper and put some glue in that center and place a little bit of tissue paper on the inside. So I'm just doing yellow for the middle. You can do whatever color tissue paper you have or construction paper to make that center. And there you have it. A very beautiful little lily pad. Y'all have fun. Bye.